Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the structure and function of lysosomes. In the last video, we looked at the role of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. We saw that proteins are synthesized by ribosomes on the membrane of the rough ER. These proteins then move through the rough ER where they're modified. For example, a carbohydrate molecule can be attached to the protein to form a glycoprotein. Proteins then leave the rough ER in vesicles, and these vesicles carry the proteins to the Golgi apparatus. In the Golgi apparatus, the proteins can be modified further. Finally, the proteins are packaged into vesicles and leave the Golgi apparatus. Now, the destination of these vesicles depends on the function of the protein. For example, some proteins are secreted from the cell, whereas other proteins form part of the cell membrane. However, a number of proteins are packaged into vesicles which go on to form lysosomes. Lysosomes have two key features. Firstly, lysosomes contain powerful digestive enzymes such as proteases. These digest large molecules into smaller, soluble molecules. Secondly, the internal fluid in a lysosome is acidic. That's because lysosomal enzymes have an optimum pH which is acidic. So let's take a look at the functions of lysosomes. Firstly, lysosomes play a key role in phagocytosis, for example in white blood cells. We're going to be looking at phagocytosis in detail when we look at the immune system. I'm showing you here a white blood cell which is about to ingest bacteria. First, the white blood cell forms a vacuole around the bacteria. This vacuole is called a phagosome. Lysosomes now fuse with the phagosome. The lysosomal enzymes now digest the bacteria, and the soluble digestion products now pass into the cytoplasm. Lysosomes can also be used to destroy organelles that are damaged or no longer functional. In this case, the organelle is surrounded by a vacuole, and lysosomes fuse with the vacuole membrane. Again, the lysosomal enzymes now digest the organelle. The digestion products are absorbed into the cytoplasm, and can be reused to make new organelles. And finally, sometimes lysosomes transfer their enzymes outside of the cell by exocytosis, for example to digest and remove unwanted proteins or dead cells. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the structure and function of lysosomes. 